I just got back from a uh, half hour drive picking up this uh, 1980s, I'm trying to figure out, I think it's a 1987 Ford YT16 lawn tractor. Uh, I have wanted this tractor for probably about seven years now. I've been looking for one for continuously for about a year. All of them have been very, very far away, about 12 hours away round trip. That was just a little bit out of my range. Uh, so half hour away was pretty good for this, uh, an hour round trip. Yeah, it's in pretty rough shape, but uh, you know what? I, I love it. I'm excited. Uh, it definitely has a lot of very interesting things that the last person did to it, or last couple owners, whatever. Uh, both hood latches on each side are broken, so someone decided to put lock hafts and padlocks on both sides of the hood. Uh, I did have a key for both padlocks, so that's pretty nice, and I have the ignition key as well. Uh, somebody added on this <laughs> toolbox on the side. I mean, that's kind of kind of neat, but I don't know. I, I like stuff original, so that's that's. Uh, I don't know. Can't decide whether I'm keeping that or not. Uh, somebody added real tail lights onto it. I believe there's reflectors underneath these tail lights, just on the on the fenders, um, and they. <laughs> <laughs> they did an interesting job putting them daylights on. Uh, instead of, I mean, obviously they wanted, they weren't afraid of drilling holes in this thing. It's got holes everywhere. So why wouldn't you just drill a hole and put the wire underneath the seat? Huh. So they put it over top and they use these little plastic tabs <laughs> to put it on there. And you can't tell me it's hard to route wires underneath this seat. Because the whole entire back panel hinges up. So, that's interesting. Also, that little tether that keeps it from going too far open is not attached. I think that also acts as a little bit of a ground. Uh, hence, none of the lights are working now. Uh, I hooked the, hooked the battery, battery charger up to the headlights. And um, they both came on. But uh, one of them burned out. After just being on for a couple of minutes, the other one still comes on, but the wiring for that is all screwed up too. Somebody's somebody's really messed with the wiring on this thing. Um, so we'll get up here and check it out. The grill is in really good shape on this thing. New cone of paint, it will be brand new. There's one dent right there. That's the only dent in it. Normally on these Fords, that whole entire front end is totally smashed up. Uh, tires are fantastic, original tires, and uh, they don't leak. Another, like I said, the tether that holds this hood is broken, so you have to kind of set the hood on the ground. Um, but yeah, it's got a Brazen Strat and opposed twin 16 horsepower engine in it. I just polished up this cover. That was the first thing I just kind of wanted to mess around with. I wanted to do something the first day I got it. Nothing too crazy. I mean, it's, it's nighttime. I can't really do anything. Anything loud with it, um, but you know what? I'm I'm really looking forward to the project. Um, some other interesting things that the last person did. Uh, you know what? They used to make stuff so much better. I mean, these tires, for example, these are original Carlisle Turf Saver tires from the '80s. Really good shape yet. Perfectly fine. Uh, I think the front ones. One of the front ones has a tube in it. This one doesn't, and the back ones don't have tubes in them either. Um, but the fuel line too is fantastic condition. It's still soft. It's still pliable. It's not hard or cracked or leaking or anything. Um, but down here, somebody took a piece of air hose and replaced the fuel line with that. So yeah, I have some more fuel line though that I can put on here. Uh, new fuel filter too, because I don't know how dirty that is. Uh, yeah, it, it probably it should really be replaced. Same thing with the air filter, which doesn't look bad, but again, it, it could stand to be replaced. I see this cover. I really like the way this turned out. It's a lot better than what it was. Yeah, the air filter isn't bad, but it's not the greatest either. On the dash, I'm surprised to see that the throttle lever is still there because it's not held on by anything whatsoever anymore. Amp meter, uh, it appears to have mostly dried out by now. 
but I did have some condensation inside of it. Uh, choke knob is now a wire nut. Yeah. I mean, it works, but... Yeah, I'm gonna put a real choke knob on there. Battery, fantastically, is still good. 2017, uh, and it's a fantastic battery. I load tested it, and it's perfect. It's got 600 cranking amps, so really, really good. And I still, I'm gonna throw it on a charger overnight. Seat safety is obviously disabled. Uh, no lawnmower deck came with it. And somebody took off the deck height lever as well when they took the deck off. Stickers are surprisingly in really good shape. You have decals and everything. The back one is pretty beautiful there, other, other than a couple little scratches and necks. Um, all of the decals on the dash are really fantastic. Um, obviously, this thing spent a lot of time outside. There's so much surface rust. Still not deciding whether I want to repaint it or not. I mean, I, I kind of like the old, the old look of it. I mean, it, it's got to look like it's from the 80s, right? That's the cool part. Um, it's missing the steering boot that goes on here. Maybe I'll find one of them someplace or something that's similar at least. I, I mean, geez, you could use a piece of corrugated tube on there, like a piece of uh, sump pump drain tube or something like that it would be just fine. You know, it would look better than what it is. Um, yeah, uh, finding genuine parts for these things is not as easy as it. I'd have to imagine it used to be, but it can be done. Uh, mostly on the used market, but so I have a lot of stuff I want to do to it. The gas stinks. That gas. The person told me that they had it that it ran not that long ago. <laughs> I don't believe them. That gas smells so old. It's it's got to be varnished by now. Like seriously, it's it's bad. I suppose drain the gas. Uh, see if it runs on carb spray tomorrow, and. If it does, uh, put fresh gas in it, you know, see if it runs on that. I don't know. Probably won't. Clean the carburetor, and if that doesn't work, I'll look at a carburetor rebuild kit. I'm really glad this has the, uh, I, I may mispronounce this, but the Walbro carburetor on it compared to the Nikki, um, because the Walbros are a lot cheaper to get parts for. Uh, I believe the rebuild kit for the for these carburetors is about $15 and the Nikki carburetor rebuild kit is about $50. So <laughs> big difference there. And the whole carburetor itself just, oh, don't even get started. Too expensive. Um, the oil, fantastic oil. Somebody just changed it. It's uh, maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing, but it's at the right level and it doesn't smell like gas or anything, but you know, you never know what people, maybe, maybe it was just changed so that way there was no gas in it. Head gasket, maybe. But, um, you know what? Have to give it a try. Have to try it out. Can't really say nothing until I, I really try. Um, uh, I do want to, I'm going to, uh, hot water pressure wash it tomorrow. A lot of this is really, it's, it's just caked on grime and dirt and stuff that's been on there for years. So clean that up. Uh, I think I am probably definitely going to, I don't know, I might repaint the front rims because they somebody painted them gray for some reason, but they didn't paint the back ones. So, yeah, interesting, interesting. I do like the wheels on this too, they're really cool. Love them old tires and they're actual five lug wheels. All the other tractors that I have right now are, are uh, they, they just go through the drive, drive shaft and uh, hold on with a little clip. Uh, kind of similar to something what would go on a transmission like this. This is just a um, Tecumseh transmission. It's the next day, and uh, I'm just taking a quick little bit before bringing it to the car wash. So, I mean, yeah, it's got a lot of that greasy grime, dusty grease, dirt build up on the engine uh, and on the body underneath there. Um, and like I say, all this stuff on that, that, uh, Everything that's painted white is looking pretty dirty. I'm going to be really careful with the power washer when it comes to uh, doing those emblems and uh, and the uh, decals and all that stuff. should look a lot better even after that. Yeah. <laughs>
that made a huge difference all washed up cleaned up it looks a lot better all of the white uh i mean they're they're all uh decals but all the white on there looks so much better than it did before and you know even back on these fenders there's no longer any dirt on them it's it's just rust um so that looks a lot better already too just a little bit of cleanup same thing with all the wheels they're all clean now again they got their rust and uh old paint but they are clean uh, even the engine, I was able to get a lot of that grease and crap off of there. Uh, hot water washer does a good job at that. So kind of melts away all that old grease. I could have got in here a little bit more, but I really didn't want to put too much pressure on the electronics. Now under the hood. I'm going to clean all this dirt and gunk up out of here. Pop this little dent out. It's just one piece. You know what? Yeah, I could probably just do that all by hand. I put my weight on it yeah and then pop out the uh, dead headlight and pull some numbers off there and I'll probably order one of them up so matter of fact I should probably just order a set of them that way when the other one goes then I have a matching set I'd like to get these are GE bulbs the original ones they are original to the tractor um, but yeah I'd like to I'd like to put the same ones in there if I can find them so Got all them dents out. Looks really good now. And got the headlight out too. I still think that's interesting. How they took a uh, round bulb and made it look like a square one just by the way they put it in there. It's it's really smart actually. Because otherwise you would have had to custom make a, a bulb that size I'm sure. So that's really cool. I like that. Um, got the little bracket off there. I'll show you the front here. It looks really good. Can't even tell them dents were ever in there. So I got that cleaned up really, really good. It looks a lot better. And uh, I did put ball, both balls back in, just marked the one that's burnt out with an ax. I'm trying to find an actual GE bulb. You can find replacement balls for these. They're a little bit expensive, um, but most of them aren't even General Electric. You can tell the difference in the way the lens is in the front. So I want to see if I can find an actual General Electric one at a halfway decent price. And if I can, I'll get that. So I took the hood off. I had this little powder pin on the end of the rod. Um, and I'm replacing that with a uh, with a, a trailer hitch pin. That way it's a lot easier to take off and put back on if you ever want to pull the hood off. Because a lot of stuff on these motors, the hood just gets in the way so much. So you might as well just pull the whole thing off. And that makes it so much easier. And just for the heck of it, I took that little rubber seat cover off too. And I am super, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought for sure that I took it off because I figured this foam would be soaked with water. But actually it is totally dry. And the foam is in really good shape. Yeah, obviously not the original seat. It's been replaced. But uh, pretty good shape for something that I, I, I can tell you it sat outside it probably its whole life. I also wanted to talk quick about the backstory on this tractor. So the reason why I always wanted one, it first started off when I was a kid and I was at my grandma's house. It was uh, July 20th, 2012. And I saw some people, they were in the ditch. They were trimming trees. They were pulling a trailer with this YT-16. And they were throwing all the brush in the trailer to make it easy to take it away. So I took a few pictures of it. And, you know, I always knew I really wanted one just like it someday. Recently, about for about six months or so, I was very consistently, almost every day, looking on Facebook Marketplace and uh, Craigslist, trying to find another one. And I wasn't able to, wasn't able to, not close enough. And I finally found this one, which, like I said before, it was pretty close. And I had to, you know, I had to go pick it up. And I wasn't even thinking of it at the time, but I realized after making the very first video clip of me going over this tractor and going over the possible problems and everything with it, um, after finding the old picture and looking at it again, I was looking at the similarities. It's the same tractor I saw back in 2012. Which is crazy because it's September 11, 2021 that I ended up seeing it. So I'll go over 
quick here. Unfortunately, the tractor is compromised a little bit here because uh, I still am working on it. As you can see, there's a, there's a little sneak peek on what's going to happen in the next part. Um, but yeah, so the deck height lever on it is missing. It's supposed to be on this side. I went over that before. That's the same on this one and the one I saw before. Uh, the mower deck itself obviously is missing. Same thing there. The steering wheel bellows is the proper term for that boot that goes on there. Them are both missing. And the hood latches. Hood latches are gone. The hasps weren't on the one that I saw in 2012, but the hidden, the actual hood latches themselves were missing. Another thing on the wiring harness over here, which is kind of hard to see, but there's supposed to be electrical tape wrapped around there to hold the whole harness together, and it's missing on about half of it. That also matches up. Of course, can't forget about the aftermarket seat. I do have a, uh, a little rug on there for comfort since the foam is not very impressive on this thing. But uh, the aftermarket seat is definitely a big one. It's the exact same. Taillights too. This odd job of putting the wires on the outside and it having taillights in the first place. And the reflectors being missing. The rims painted silver on the front. That also matches. Uh, the ones that were on the, on the back before were also painted silver and they had ag tires on it. But if it were me and I had ag tires on a tractor and I was going to sell it, I'd keep the ag tires and put the originals back on. So I'm feeling like that's what they did as well. And then the last thing was that orange wire nut that's on the uh, on a choke. That matches up as well. So with all those things adding up, I don't see how this tractor cannot be the same as the one I saw back in 2012. It definitely is, which is really cool. I mean, even the rust. A lot of the spots where the heavy rust is on there, it is rustier now than it was back then. But the heavy rust spots, they match up. I think it's pretty cool that I always wanted one of these. And not only did I end up getting one eventually, but I got the actual one that I saw for the very first time that made me like these in the first place.